Hey guys, it's your boy Terry again on another episode of Invest Roundup. President Joe Biden unveiled details of a 1.9 trillion fiscal stimulus plan last week that got the stock market so very not excited. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 0.6%, the S&P 500 slipped 0.7% and the Nasdaq Composite declined 0.9%. According to analysts, this is because it seems a little anticlimactic after it was rumoured that the stimulus will be at least $2 trillion. Anyway, Biden added that he will roll out a second economic recovery plan next month, so we'll see what happens then. And good news! Another COVID-19 vaccine is scheduled to roll out soon if all goes well with the trial. Joining the likes of Pfizer BioNTech, Moderna and AstraZeneca is Novavax. Zoom, in the meantime, is not doing so well after the announcement last week and dampening the exponential growth since last year. And major conglomerate 3M continues to get the side eye from some investors as they make up for something bad they did more than two decades ago. So let's get into this week's news. Disclaimer, whatever stock or news we talk about is not a recommendation to buy or to sell. These are all just news we deem important, things we think you need to know about if you're invested in the stock market or if you intend to invest. First news item, is video conferencing platform Zoom hated for doom? Hands up if you've been hearing this a lot since the beginning of last year. Hey man, you're on mute. Can everyone see my screen? How do I share my screen? Pretty sure those were 2020's greatest hits on the US billboard. So, it's not that surprising when Zoom recently announced that they've achieved sales of 1 million Zoom phone seats last week. Yes, this is pretty impressive because these guys launched less than two years ago. But it is also because of the massive increase in demand for video conferencing platforms in the last year. Last week, the company optimistically announced that they'll be selling about 4.4 million shares in a secondary offering to raise $1.5 billion each share at 10 times its IPO price. According to analysts, this is presumably capitalizing on the surge of investor interest after the stock's value shot through the roof last year and this is a chance for them to get some extra financial padding. Sadly though, this may come across a little smart and the news didn't bode too well with investors because the share price fell 6% the next day in pre-market trading. This is a 35% tumble in total since mid-October. In any case, experts are optimistic that the demand for Zoom will remain solid owing to the growing work-from-home trend as well as online learning. At the moment, they are considered to be a medium risk investment. The guys over at Barron's are even telling people to buy Zoom video stock because it's just too cheap right now considering its growth potential down the road. They also said that the market's current valuation of $46 billion is a significant undervaluation when the business could be worth $80 billion at 2023 year end. Haha, <laughs> yeah right, $80 billion. Now if you excuse me, I need to make a video call to my colleague. Not on Zoom. I'm totally using another platform to video call. Why would I be using Zoom? This meeting is being recorded. Second news item, we look at 3M's attempt to redeem themselves after what they did two decades ago. Now for most of you, 3M may not need any introduction. Their next care bandits cover your wounds, their scotch bright sponges scrub off your tough stains, and their post-its are lifesavers in the office. It's like your clingy best buddy. Their things just protect you, get you out of tough situations, and generally just stick to you. Anyway, unlike a lot of businesses, these guys have actually been performing well in year 2020. The problem is, the stock market is just not seeing it. Their great work hasn't exactly been reflected in their share price. Something you need to know if you haven't already. Back in 2019, the company was held liable for contaminating drinking water with PFAS, a chemical they produced years ago from their manufacturing processes. And even though they've stopped using the chemicals in the early 2000s, they've set aside hundreds of millions of dollars to clean those up. This is an issue that might still be weighing on analysts' minds. What's worse, with the Democrats taking over office, it might mean even more environmental liabilities for them. At the stock market, sadly, things are looking bleak for them, with the stock dropping 7.9% over the past 12 months as people are more concerned about the PFAS issue. Financially speaking though, their earnings only did less than 10% compared to 2019. Strong business performance, a stable earning, and certainly not something most industry giants can replicate last year thanks to 3M's diversified business model. Some analysts that are more optimistic sees 3M like the day-old pizza at the deli, unloved and underpriced when it's actually still pretty darn good. I mean, you need to pop in the microwave a little, but still. And maybe these guys have got a point. Their business is still going strong, we're still using their band-aids, tapes and post-its every day, right? And the contamination problem is a one-off issue that will eventually be resolved. The same group of analysts are expecting the price to move higher this month after 3M report their latest earnings. At the moment, they look fundamentally solid in terms of profitability and health. 
also a great dividend stock, but if you're looking for a growth stock, this is probably not for you. But you know what is good for you? That's right, our weekly invest round of videos. So click that subscribe button below now and you'll be informed whenever we got some juicy market news for you. Now, back to the video. And finally, we look at the vaccine maker whose share price grew 2,700% in 2020 and recently came up with their own COVID vaccine. Oh boy, another player joins the race. Since Pfizer and Moderna announced their COVID-19 vaccine early November, several other vaccine makers have also followed suit with their version of the vaccine and bring more hope to the rest of the world. Is it just me or is this like that classroom thing where they're just waiting for someone to break the silence first? Anyway, the latest company to join the race to save the world is American vaccine development company Novavax. The top management of the vaccine company have cashed in 34 million pounds worth of shares as the jab enters late-stage trials in a few countries. So far, Novavax had initiated a phase 3 study in the US and Mexico towards the end of December after facing multiple delays, had an ongoing phase 3 trial in the UK which commenced in September and the data from which is expected within the next few weeks and they now seem to have started trials in Australia as well. The company expects to release data from all these trials in the first quarter, so fingers crossed guys. In all of 2020, Novavax shares have skyrocketed by more than 2,700% and since the start of January 2020, the share price have gained 14% albeit a brief slide on 11th of January. With all the trials and success it's been getting for the vaccine, the company is now also beefing up its executive team as it prepares to file for emergency use authorization. One of it includes hiring a regulatory expert who will be helping to strategize, execute as well as conduct quality control for the vaccine. At the moment, it seems like Novavax is trading way above its intrinsic value, probably due to the hype around the vaccine. But after the release of the next quarterly results, who knows, the intrinsic value just might catch up. So those are the three important investment news we had to share with you this week. Once again, we encourage you to get more information if you'd like to act on any of the companies we've shared about earlier. Comment below and tell us what you'd like to see on Invest Roundup and share this video with your friends, especially those who are invested in the stock market. See you next week.